Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving into Halloween Cup with a super meta relevant team. I think that this team is gonna be kinda safe to you but before we hop into the commentary of course you can watch the battle as I'm gonna talk here but first I want to say that we have almost set up completely the whole decoration for our Halloween special here in my house and yeah this is looking pretty good. Look at that little guy that we have bought as well. This is looking magnificent. So yeah with that and now we're gonna have Halloween Cup uh, battles for today's content with an amazing line overall. I really like Greninja up in front to be honest this Pokemon is not broken but still as meta as it can be it still has its soul counters but uh, still you can provide a lot of pressure even to those Pokemon with your amazing Hydro Cannons. As well we have at the back another water type so this team can be an ABB team, an ABA team or an ABA team as well because we're having a water up in front, the water at the back, a dark up in front, a dark at the back and yeah, and an ABB team because of the fact that we have a water type up in front and double poison at the back. So many information for this line and you're gonna see that you are not gonna regret using this team in no time at all. Able to provide so much pressure with those charge attacks, the suits can be taken out of the way super fast and then you can get some guarantee nukes against whatever remains at the back. So that that was my crazy commentary on the introduction of this video and as you can see here we have already completed our first battle into a victory. Into the next battle now, we're having Azumarill up in front. You know me, we have a lot of bad leads uh, showcased on this channel and this one is another bad one for our team. So we have to get out of there to our Drapion and they respond with a weird switch to their Frostlass. Perhaps they were trying to catch a Sludge Bomb, but guess what, we know much better than that. So we do not even have Sludge Bomb. This is the hyper play that we're gonna do with our Drapion, able to charge up a lot, not only to the crunches, but also to those Auga Tails. So we need to respect their own damage with that avalanche and right after I'm pretty sure we can do a lot of soul work with our uh, Drapion here and that final crunch by over farming as well in the process. So they're not gonna return with their Azumarill, they're kind of afraid of my Slasm I believe but as it seems here uh, we will just surprise them down with our amazing double Aqua Tail. This means now that this Nito Queen is almost out of the way, we don't care about Greninja at this point so that we have to bring in to play our Toxapex and absolutely make them forfeit this battle. Into the next one now against a trainer who leads with the Umbreon. Okay, so this is gonna take a while but you are not gonna regret it, stay till the end. I really really promise that this video is gonna worth the long term of your watching. Uh, so yeah, here comes now the first Hydro Cannon, another run before they reach to their next move and most Umbreons in the meta are running Psychic like I did in my previous video but I think that here they do not have last resort either so I'm just gonna take those moves even if they had last resort I know I can survive at least one so here comes now all that crazy farm down by my opponent and of course they are getting super close to another one and they do not want to risk it at all able to get to the night's last to finish of the Umbreon and the Hydro Gun for some real nice cheap damage on the Toxapex why not night's last I could not risk it by waiting a little bit to see uh, the typing first because I had to go straight for the move I was having so little amount of uh, HP and I did not going to risk it for no reason to uh, get all that energy thrown away for no uh, purpose at all. So anyways right now we're having the mirror on that weird switch mid battle and of course you're gonna see that we have the slight advantage here uh, because of the fact that we have a uh, slighter a little bit more HP due to that Hydro Cannon from Greninja. So Drapion here able to finish off that Pokemon and now at the back they have a car so carbing is pretty much everywhere in the meta. We have to take note of that Pokemon with every single team that we're gonna use lately in Go Battle League and of course in Howling Cup because this one is an absolute nightmare even to Pokemon that can kinda counter it down. So look at that, its bulk is amazing but hopefully here we can spam our way to victory with those back to back to back to back Aqua Tails. Another one is coming up so they have to spend their final shield and another one to almost finish them off. This will put them at a critical position right at the point that one Brian will just finish off the carbine and grab for us that victory. 
Into the next battle now and we just saw how cool carving can be in the meta and of course my opponent here is gonna use it up in front. I will have a lot of bad leads in this video so stay tuned till the end. I'm saying this a lot on this uh, content uh, but still I'm telling you you're not gonna regret it but the good leads that we're gonna have are all gonna be against carvings because this Pokemon is gonna be pretty much everywhere and you need to know how to play this battle. So Greninja can absolutely destroy down carving but you need to sacrifice at least one shield in the process uh, so do not go for night slash at any range you still need to get to those uh, hydro cans to finish of the po this pokemon even when they are on the red night slash will do almost no damage at all so right here now against that jellison we're just gonna keep spamming those night slashes to eventually take it out and now both of us have almost uh, uh, two pokemon at the back but we have the slight advantage because our two pokemon are completely healthy however they have now a toxic at the back which happens to be a severe core breaker for my team what i want to do here is to not throw immediately i'm expecting the switch at some point so i will just go for the over farm but they still managed to catch my brain because i was not paying enough attention i believe so that was definitely a mistake from my part but still here can we survive one mad bomb yes we can that was super clutch because now we can reach to our next brain this will put that toxic rook at a critical position right at the point Point that we can finish it off with the aqua tail before they do anything weird so down they go in the process into our next battle now trainers and what did i tell you before really bad leads and this one is also a big one for our team so on the switch we're met up once again with that carping i literally am saying to you that four out of uh, five battles for um, every of my every, every single of my set was having a carping and that was pretty weird overall uh, so yeah there goes that so right now we're just gonna block whatever they throw we definitely need to flip this around and and we know that the rock throw farm down is coming up. So can we reach here to that next aqua tail before they reach to their move? Uh, unfortunately not. So down we go with both shields. But can we reach to another aqua tail right after that since they are blocking? No, we cannot. That was a big bummer. But still our Greninja here can handle that victory bell now that we have a lot of energy to spare. One nice last to put them below 50%. And I believe one more to finish off victory bell pretty easily over here down they go from our Greninja which is pretty impressive so let's see now what they have at the back it is gonna be charge back so the battle is definitely not over yet since they have kinda the upper hand they are over farming here to a double discharge I believe if I count correctly right now and of course a sludge wave is coming up for massive damage they have to spare that extra energy that they have so can we get now to the farm down with the water shurikens or are they gonna get to the next move this is so unfortunate too many close uh, scenarios too many close calls for this battle and we're gonna fall short to a very hard counter team to be fair into the next battle now trainers and we're having a toxic rock once again so this is a very bad lead that we need to uh, play around since not only it's gonna counter counter us down pun intended for our uh, Greninja but also at the back it has mad bomb which can do a lot of solid work while at the same time it can resist our backline's moveset so anyways right now we're just gonna get to that final aqua tail and we can draw a shield this can be a game changer for our greninja so by doing that we can kind of guarantee that we can farm down with our greninja and to do so we need to spend a shield or not it all depends if they have sludge bomb so they have crunch which means that we can safely go ahead and farm down before they reach to their next move and now expecting that toxic to return we're just gonna get to those hydro cannons the first one is coming up they are gonna block and another one for that monkey buzz unfortunately well hope is not lost yet because they have no shields we have two and of course we're gonna charge up for that lost energy to our green ninja with that uh, simple hydro can for the end game you never know when you might need that uh, that energy against toxic rock so what we want to do here is to reach a double brine finish off monkey buzz and then finish so actually not finish off do severe damage to that toxic rock so that we can guarantee that that next uh 
uh, Hydro Cannon will most likely knock out this Pokemon. So by starting to using those shields now against the Mud Bombs, we can kind of uh, guarantee the victory against this Toxic Rock because look at that, the Brian to do some cheap damage and the Hydro Cannon to secure the victory. Let's get the trainers and now let's move forward into the final battle against the uh, who? Wintregalia. This is a recent friend of mine in Pokemon Go and let's see how well we can do over here. So we're having uh, that carving at the end of this video and of course uh, Hydro Cannon is gonna be our main way to go. What did I tell you before? You need to get those Hydro Cannons at any HP level of this Pokemon because it is extremely bulky, you cannot go for the Night Slash. So I'm just gonna charge up a little bit more, counting their moves in the process so that they cannot outspeed me and I spend the two seals and that would be a bummer to be honest. Uh, and uh, right after we're having now Toxapex on the mirror. One once again, this is not the ideal scenario that you want to be in if you are especially in a hurry for Go Battle League. And yeah, this is gonna take a while to unfold, but still, uh, you're gonna see that uh, the Sludge Wave is still gonna put that uh, Toxapex in a critical position. Here comes now another move. This time, though, it is gonna be a Sludge Wave which we can survive, but unfortunately, we cannot reach to the next Sludge Wave. Brian, though, will do just enough damage for our Drapion to completely farm down over here. I am in no mood to block even that uh, uh, Brian, so I'm just gonna take it and now at the back they have a Greninja of their own. Able to catch my crunch on the carbing which was super good for them and hopefully here we can overfarm a little bit more, still reach now to the Aqua Tail to finish off carbing but they still have two of those shields remaining at the back. So here comes now crunch for massive damage on that Pokemon and they're kind of obliged in not farming me down they have to spend their energy but hopefully here we have a lot of energy to spare as well with Greninja coming in we pass through that final water shuriken let's see trainers can we get to the amazing double triple quadruple whatever Natsla's limit and we can take that shield and the CMP right after let's get it with our higher attack stat and of course that will guarantee the victory to end this video thank you for watching trainers thank you for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge Huge like before you go and please consider subscribing to my channel if you already haven't. With that said, I have two videos for you to check out. Feel free to check them out and I will see you all into the next one.